Welcome to Fun Islamic Facts, where I share fun facts about Muhammad and the Quran whenever jihadis go on a killing spree. In our last video, we learned that Muhammad peed while squatting. Even in Muslim sources, we read about people making fun of him for peeing like a girl. In Sunan Abu Daud, number 22, for instance, two men see him peeing and say, Look at him. He urinates as a woman urinates. Apparently, they didn't realize how important proper urinating habits are in Islam. According to Muhammad, not urinating properly is a one-way ticket to hell. Sunan Ibn Majah, number 347. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, The Messenger of Allah passed by two new graves, and he said, They are being punished, but they are not being punished for anything major. One of them was heedless about preventing urine from getting on his clothes, and the other used to walk about spreading malicious gossip. So the man was in hell for not squatting to pee. But it gets worse, because Muhammad declared that most of the punishment of hell is the result of urinating improperly. Sunan ibn Majah, number 348. It was narrated that Abu Huraira said, The Messenger of Allah said, most of the torment of the grave is because of urine. To all of you Muslims who are watching, and I know you're watching, do you really believe that people go to hell for not peeing the way Muhammad peed? Do you really believe that most of the punishment of hell is for not peeing the way Muhammad peed? If you don't, and I know you don't, Shouldn't it be obvious that Muhammad used threats of punishment in hell to get people to do what he wanted? And even to stop making fun of him for the way he peed? If Muhammad was the sort of man who would make up stories about people burning in hell for peeing the wrong way, just to get people to stop saying that he peed like a girl, is this really the sort of man you can trust to tell you the truth about God and salvation?